guys, what's up? It's Willie B here, back with episode four of Bucket Plugin Tutorials. So today we're going over some more player manipulation stuff, um, but specifically today we're going to set a home. So we're going to add a command to set a home, and then we're going to have a command to go to that home, so it'll still be teleporting the player, which is stuff we did uh, last episode, um, but we're also going to be dealing with configs. Uh, so this is going to be quite a bit more advanced, I think, than what we did last week, um, but it's still not too advanced. You should be able to pick it up. You might have to go back and rewatch a certain spot, um, but in my opinion, it's pretty quick and easy, um, and I think definitely worthwhile trying out. Um, so what we'll be doing, actually we should probably be doing um, a lobby. So we'll be setting a lobby in the config and then having players go to that lobby. So instead of having all of these values here, we'll have values in the config. Um, we might also even get to putting potion effects in uh, the config and then having those used um, in, you know, in the plugin. Uh, but what I think we will also do is possibly change the display name of the player just to kind of add some stuff on to player manipulation. So let's uh, first off get started here with copying our last one. So copy, paste, uh, type 4, okay. And we'll go in here, go to the SRC, open up main.java, close the last one, rename this to 4, mouse over it, move main.java to package me.nmi.tut4, delete that, and okay. So what we'll do here, since we're using a config, there's going to be a few more advanced steps to this. So we're going to need on enable to load the config, and then on disable we're going to need to save the config, but we're also going to add in a reload command so we can change the config values part of the way through the plugin being you know, running uh, without having to reload the server or without having to restart the server. Um, which makes it a lot easier for uh, for server owners to be able to uh, handle it without like it's it's inconvenient to have to restart your plugin every time you change a config value. So we'll get started here. So Emotes Pro here, the thing I'm uh, hopping into right now because I've actually somehow forgotten is a um, a uh, premium plugin on SpigotMC.org. Uh, cost I think four dollars right now um, so there's a lot of stuff in here where I can't actually show you guys what it is um, this is the best sneak peek you'll be able to get um, so what we're gonna want to grab from here is this dot save default config and we'll come over to here so what we want here is just this dot save default config uh, parentheses and that semicolon and then that will uh, save your default config so it'll load technically your default config and then we'll also want to get um, a couple other things after this. We'll save. Uh, I think that. Mm, no? Okay, cool. Uh, sometimes when you bring things in from other projects, um, it brings it in and it'll add stuff to the import list. Um, so once we got that, we'll go over to TUT4, uh, new file, and we'll name this config.yml. And then it'll open up. So what we want to do here is set the lobby coordinates. So we'll do lobby, and then underneath that we're going to have x, y, z, and we'll also throw in world. Um, so we'll be able to specify what world we want to teleport in. And then potions, and then we'll have a list of lists here, which will get kind of tricky. Um, but it should be fine. Uh, so we'll do um, we'll have the effect here. So, oops, uh, we'll have actually the ID, I guess. So we'll just have a one here. Um, actually, we'll do it this way. So we'll have a one here, 
um, and it will come underneath this and to two spaces or tab if you have it set up that way to replace tab with two spaces and then we'll have um, effect speed duration and we'll set this in seconds and we'll manage we'll handle that in the plugin itself so we'll set it in seconds to 180 seconds and the amplifier amplifier we'll set it to we'll set it to 10 see if that works uh, and then we'll set to uh, effect jump duration 180 so that'll be three minutes and then amplifier set that to 10 and we could continue going uh, we'll do a for loop to see how many there are and then for each um, key inside potion will add an effect so we won't go to one we won't go to two this is just a kind of a placeholder to keep it you know uh, organized uh, so let's set up the coordinates for x y and z and we're going to use floats this time uh, just because that's what some server owners would want to use um, so let's just jump over to minecraft and see where land is right here so f3 uh, we're currently standing at uh, negative eight. Um, all right, so we'll do uh, we'll do zero seventy nine, negative one eighty eight. Um, but we'll also toss in like the point six, uh, just to just to use decimals. So uh, zero point zero, oops, and then seventy nine point zero, and negative one eighty eight. Point uh, seven, I guess, and then we'll um, end the world. I think it's just named eleven on here, actually. Um, and we'll just put in eleven because I'm fairly certain. Um, but we'll treat eleven as a string, not an int, um, which will be fine. Although if it is a string, it should be in quotes like that. Um, although it doesn't have to be, but if there's any spaces and stuff, it does get kind of tricky. So usually, with it being a string, it should be like that. Um, but we'll leave speed and jump the way they are. And then we'll save that. And we'll go back in here. And then int x will be this dot get config dot get uh, float. Okay, get int. Um, and then lobby. Oops, it's a string lobby dot x and the way the dot works is how um, parents work with the config so lobby dot x so the parent of x is lobby so it would be lobby dot x lobby dot y lobby dot z uh, lobby dot world so do lobby dot x uh, we'll cast this to a float and make this a float um, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll just copy this, replace those two, y, z, and the same here. So lobby.y, lobby.z. And then for world, world world equals oops, this dot get config dot get string. And the string will be or the key for it will be lobby dot world and I like to keep things in lowercase um, just because it keeps things simple and manageable so you know what what's what um, and it appears we have an error because we have to do bucket dot get world uh, by a string and that's how we get our string so we're getting the world from this string so that'll get a string from the config bring it back and give it to the world object um, now for potion effects um, we're gonna do potion effects slightly different this time just to keep it more organized so uh, for uh, this dot get config, config dot get configuration section um, 
Vex, I think they called it. Uh, potion. So, get configuration section. Potion. Uh, I like to put spaces within this just to keep it more organized so I know what's going on. Uh, dot get keys. We'll do false um, just so it doesn't repeat. So it doesn't go inside of. Like, so it doesn't go to the children. So it just sticks to the keys inside of potions. So just one and two rather than getting every single key that's inside. Um, so uh, for the keys. Um, oops. So for. Str oops. Wow. Uh, string. This dot get config. Um, oh, wait. I've done this wrong. Okay, so for string key in, that's basically what the colon there means. So for this each string key in this dot get config dot get configuration section potion. So dot get keys. So the keys inside of potion. So for each key inside of potion, we're gonna do. Um, Potion effect type. Um, we'll call it pet for PET. Potion effect type uh, equals potion effect type dot. And there should be a method within this. Um, get by name, and then we use um, this dot get config dot get string, um, and then we'll use key. To do potion dot, and this will be doing potion dot one, um, and then add. So we're concatenating strings by putting strings together to form one string. So key itself is replacing one or potion dot one. So we'll need to do dot effect, um, and then then four is a loop. So it'll go through the first one, do whatever we say in this block, and then it'll do the same thing uh, for the next one. So it'll replace the one with a two. Uh, uh, there. So we've got pet setup. So we've got the potion effect type. Now we just need the amplifier and the duration. So int dura equals this dot get config dot get int key plus uh, dot duration and then that'll get us the duration and then int um, amp equals this dot get config dot get oops, int uh, key dot oh, key plus dot amplifier oops, amplifier so now we've got all of the um, details. We've got all the information we need to put together um, a potion effect and add it to a player. So since we already have a player, we'll just do player dot add potion effect uh, new potion potion effect. Um, but rather than doing potion effect dot or potion effect type dot speed, we'll just do pet and then dura and then amp and then just like that we've added whatever was in there so we could have in our config here we could have as many of these as we wanted to and it's going to go through every single one of them and then get the potion effect type the duration the amplifier and then do this now if a player or if a user admin um, owner whatever puts in an incorrect value so if it tries to get it by name and it can't it's going to throw an error and freak out um, so you might want to um, add a check um, but just for time's sake today we'll get into checks and verifying things down the road um, maybe next episode um, but just for today just for time's sake we're going to go based on the fact that we are the ones doing it and we know what's going on or we're okay with an error and we know that they'll fix it uh, so then we can get rid of those two since this block is doing that for us um, from our config 
and we've got the uh, location teleport set up um, and we'll go ahead and change their display name we'll add a prefix saying lobby to it perhaps so we'll do player dot get display name dot oh no 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 dot set display name to the chat color dot get oops, dot translate alternate color codes and then remember we're doing a, a char a character here and then um, ampersand seven I think is gray oops, it's a string so ampersand seven uh, lobby we'll add a space and then we'll add uh, thing to make their name yellow and then we'll concat on top of this their player name so player dot get display name actually we should just use get name just so if it does this multiple times it won't continue to do it um, and then we will save that so from there we should be good to um, have that command work um, but I did say I also wanted to add in um, a reload command. So if um, arg, so we'll be dealing with the argument uh, arguments from uh, commands. So if args dot length equals one, uh, we'll be doing um, our reload stuff here. So reload. And this is just a kind of placeholder note, uh, note to self kind of thing. Um, what a lot of people also do um, to do reload. And you'll notice it's a slightly different color, and we've got a note on the side here, so we can see that that's where we're doing something. And then else, and then we're going to capture um, all of this, and then cut it, paste it in there. Because console is going to be able to reload this, um, but um, nothing else from this plugin that console will be able to do. So console can only reload the information from config; it can't teleport to the lobby. So if args, and then this is where our array comes in. So if args zero, which will be the first one dot equals ignore case which is important uh, reload um, and then this is where we'll actually be doing our reload I like to get everything else done before doing the actual stuff so I don't forget it so as I do an if statement I'd make sure I do the if else and the else before I go into whatever's in that original if um, so I like to start with the else and then work my way back up um, in some cases depending on what's in, what I'm doing but uh, so sender dot send message and we won't deal with the chat color we know how to do that just for you know time's sake we'll just do um, incorrect argument um, and then we'll just give them the command to use um, so they can see it um, and you might want, not want to do this um, if they don't have permission we're not going to be doing a permission check for real assets we will um, so we'll just grab this um, now we'll have to get into separating them so we'll just do if they do slash lobby space reload it'll reload the config so we'll just jump over to here and I'm not going to be able to show so that is all we really need for um, for our reload command. It's just this dot reload config. When we get into more things like having timers, having a message file, things like that, then it will get more complicated. Um, but for now, it doesn't it doesn't affect anything. Um, so we're done here. We've got everything done. Uh, save. So we'll go into plugin.yml. Change this to four change this to four change this to four um, slash lobby will be the same 
Um, so we don't really need to change anything. Uh, we could change it to the description, but I won't bother um, just because it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll go up to touch four, uh, reload it, refresh with F5, uh, export, next. And you'll notice here now we have config.yml and plugin.yml as well as project and class path. Um, we'll want to rename it to tutorial 4 or again whatever you choose to name it. Click finish. Go into your um, plugins folder and wherever your jars are. Gonna delete tutorial 3. Yes. Drag tutorial 4 over. And then reload. Oh, right. So let's hop into my console here. Console up in mine, just so I have permission to do stuff. Um, so we'll do reload, and then we'll do slash lobby, and that teleported me here. And it appears we've done something wrong, um, but we are at the coordinates we set up. Um, so something here was null. Ocean get by name. Oh, I know what we've done wrong. It's it's okay. So go back to your code, uh, get by name. So after um, this dot get config dot get string, um, for that, I'm just gonna double check actually in the config that that is how it is. So effect speed, yeah. So this should be a two uppercase and that should fix our error. I'm curious if we got our name changed. Nope. Okay. So we'll go back to Eclipse, refresh, export, next, finish. The potion effects have to be in uppercase, otherwise it doesn't um, doesn't see it. Also, you'll notice here tutorial four uh, config.yml. Um, uh, we want to view slash edit. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, go to the config. So you'll notice um, users. It's the file from FileZilla itself. So this is where we can change uh, anything we want. Um, uh, so if we wanted to go back and change things, we could, and we'll do that once we have this figured out here. So lobby, okay I did something wrong still. So let's go through this uh, error code completely here. Did it give me the... no, okay. Alright, so after the reload, um, is that when we got no? Or, no, okay. Um, so slash lobby, the command lobby is giving us an error in tutorial 4. Um, and then we usually get the most information about it down here at the bottom. So on command, so it's not really giving us much information to go off of, but at some point we're getting a null point or exception. Now I'm thinking that that is somewhere in the uh, potion effect thing. So we'll just name this A and this B since we're looking at the strings and not integers. And then we will, and this is in the FTP thing, which is another convenient thing. Uh, we'll finish and then do that. And we'll do lobby reload. No, we didn't give a, a reload um, message, which is fine. Uh, so we're still getting an error. I'm getting the same error, though. Yeah, we're getting a null pointer exception. So let's look at this. Oh, OK. I think I know what we've gotten wrong here. Um, I think we need to add potion dot um, plus. And then the key is just the A. Uh, or B. So we'll copy and paste that into those. And if I'm wrong here, I will.
will restart this episode. So if you're watching this right now, you know what's happening before I do. So that's cool. Uh, refresh, export, next, finish. One FileZilla and files here. Drag in tutorial four, overwrite, slash reload, slash lobby. There we go. Okay, and let's try that. Okay, so our name has changed. We have our jump effects. So all that was happening there, um, and it was completely my mistake, I kind of forgot about this. Um, when we get the configuration section, we get the keys. The key itself is literally just, you know, the A or the B. So we still need to put in potion dot key dot effect duration amplifier. So the key is literally just replacing A or B or whatever we put in there. And remember, we can put in as many as we want. So now that we've got that fixed, uh, we can go into our config. So go to tutorial four, config, view slash edit. Uh, sure. Um, we can change um, our lobby position. So we'll change it to um, oops, lobby. It's actually showing up like we don't get the 0.7, which is strange. Um, and I'll look into that for next time. But let's change. Um, just the yeah let's change it to this block here so bring up the config here so negative 15 uh, 83 and then negative 173 uh, in the same world and we'll make this 13 and 24 we'll make the I'll make that 100 just for uh, fun. Also, um, I had forgotten, but what we should have done here was 20 multiplied by, and then that, um, uh, just the duration. Because uh, then that would be 20 ticks times whatever we put in here. So that should have been 180 seconds, uh, whereas what we're actually getting here should be yeah, 9 seconds. So it's drastically shorter. Um, so we'll do that. And then, okay, so this is going to last less than a second. So we'll up the duration actually to 2400 for jump because that's the one that's going to be fun. Yes, and then we'll do slash lobby space reload. And that'll reload the lobby plugin. So we go to lobby, teleports us to our new block, and we're getting a. Um, game breaking kind of error here um, it's probably showing my console freaking out as well yeah and it might move too quickly so we're jumping too far or too far too quickly uh, which isn't you know a huge problem um, but uh, it is something to, to keep in mind that you can't be jumping too quickly or too too you can't have your jump thing set too high but anyways this episode is dragged on pretty long so I'm gonna cut it off here but if you enjoyed it and want to see more, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you did enjoy it, also leave a like. And a subscription really helps um, both me and you so you can keep up to date on my future videos. I'm doing these videos hopefully every week. Um, and I'll also be doing some other plugin tutorials, um, some other gaming videos and stuff here and there as well. So keep an eye open for that as well. And as always, peace out.